The Browning Maxis, released in 2009, has been a dominant player in the semi-automatic hunting shotgun field. It comes in a 26 to 28 inch barrel with a three and three and a half inch receiver. Uh, it has a aluminum receiver and a chrome line barrel, but at the $1,400 price tag, I think you guys deserve an honest review of the Browning Maxis. Now I've owned this gun for four years and I put it through the, the mill, you know, hunting in rain, sleet, anything you can think of. But obviously after each one, I've cleaned it to make sure it's running at its best. And with that, I feel like I can give you probably the best pro and cons that I found out while hunting with this shotgun. The first three pros of this gun really kind of come out on the outside. The first one being the weight. This gun weighs in at about seven and a half pounds, 7.8 pounds. And although it doesn't seem like a lot or a big feature, when you're carrying this in a mile, mile and a half back, uh, you really start to notice that weight. The second big pro would be the finish on the outside. If you look, these, they're, this gun again is four years old, so you'd think there'd be a lot of wear and tear, but you look at it and it's very pristine. It has a very durable finish and it, it really holds up through the test of time. The third pro is the foregrip. And this gun has a lot of great texture, but what separates it really is that it has more of a rubberized feel to it. Uh, so you don't get that weird plasticky, gritty kind of feeling. This gun feels really solid in your hand when you hold on to it and you know it's not going to slip. Our next pro that I found out was our aluminum receiver in the chrome line barrel. Again, when you're hunting in any condition, you want to make sure these things aren't going to rust. And I have yet to have any rusting in my gun because of that. Where our next pros take us is inside the gun actually. And you may not want to blink while this happens, but it takes about three seconds to take apart this gun. And with that, our next pro is the duck plug. And again, when you have to change in duck plugs, or you know, you're changing, you're hunting for different things, just being able to turn the key in and turn it and pop it out takes about five seconds and it really adds to the versatility of the gun and ease of the shooter. And so our next couple ones are added features that I think Browning really hit the nail on the head with. Again, it takes about three seconds to put this gun back together. Next one are going to be the bells and whistles. Just to let you guys know, I do have this gun on safety, so when I show you this, it will be on safety the whole time. But bottom loading, receiver's open, pop it in. It's loaded now. And again, you can, if you're a hunter, you can just imagine all the times that will be useful, and it has been useful. And the last two is just about how it shoots, really. Uh, if you can see, the sights on this gun are very, very easy. The sights are very, very easy to kind of line up and lock on, and it gives you a great sight picture. And our final one is just, it's a soft shooter, and you'll, we'll see when we do our shooting portion of this Browning Maxis, but it, you can definitely feel this gun versus other guns on three and a half inch, three inch even. With that though, we're gonna be going to the cons of this gun. Our first con is that this gun just gets dirty very, very quickly. Um, I, I've never seen a gun gets so dirty so fast. I guess it's a gas chamber system. So you can see right here, we'll do get a close up for you, but all around here, it just gets very, very dirty and it starts to lug up very fast. And then our second con kind of revolves around this, but they have burn marks right around this ring. And I've been scrubbing, 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 trying to get those off, but they just do not come off. So. If you like a really pretty gun all the time, this gun may not be it for the receiver or the tube. And with that, we run into a lot of problems with the three and a half inch kind of aspect of this gun. Again, we'll see in the shooting video, but it handles three and a half decently, but you'll notice that it, you'll notice that it, it doesn't really want to shoot three and a half inch shells. So if you're gung-ho on shooting three and a half inch, again, this gun, you'll probably be disappointed upon it. 
another huge con for me is the safety. Now this safety, in theory, it looks pretty nice. Big, fat safety. But in actuality, it really kind of sucks, to put it point blankly. When you go and if you put it in a normal, like, you know, resting on the trigger guard, this trigger is very, very easy to slip off. And it doesn't take a lot, and you won't notice when it's off either. So like I just go like that, just a little pressure will slip that thing off. And if you can tell, on a normal gun, that looks like it's safety's on. And you, and there's not a big difference between this safety on and safety off. And so if you're fishing, or if you're hunting in the cold weather, you're gonna tend to put your gun here with your fat midden and just whoop, slipped off. And now your gun's really unsafe. And that, to me, is a huge negative for this gun. And I hope they fix it in future variations of this gun or the next gun. Another con I found out, I don't know when this happened, but this gun kind of rattles a little bit, which, I mean, it's not a huge deal. But again, when you're paying $1,400, you don't want a gun that rattles too much. So like, I don't know if you can hear that. But she shakes. The final thing is, when I bought this gun, I used it for a little bit, but I actually had to get the recoil spring, I believe, changed out on this gun because it just would not cycle three and a half inch shells. It would just lug up right on each one. And so I got that changed. It's a, it's a cheap fix for the most part. It's 40 bucks. Uh, and that's just having them install it and everything like that. So cheap fix, but again, when you're paying that much for a gun, you don't want to be having to fix it within the first year and a half, two years. With that, let's get to the shooting part of this gun. All right, so with our first shooting review here, we're gonna be doing a three and a half inch three inch and two and three quarter. I'm gonna be blowing the two and three quarter first, then ascending up, just so you guys can see what it's all about. Try to leave a pause in between so you can see each one individually. So, here we go. Again, each one you could tell has a different kind of power <laughs> to it. <laughs> and so now we're going to be doing the rapid three just to kind of see you, so you can kind of see what's going on there. Click that on save. It was pretty fast, guys. And so with that, I'm Isaac from Ten Outdoors. And this has been a review of the Browning Maxis. If you find this review helpful, don't forget to leave a comment down in the description. Or if you didn't feel like this list was complete enough, leave a comment and let us know what we can improve on.